You okay? You want me to call the police? The alarm company calls them on map. Lock the door. Yeah. It's okay, baby. Come here. Come here. Daddy's got it. You okay? Hello? Traveler. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I checked the entire house and everything seems to be locked up tight. I'm not sure why it went off. No, that'll be okay. Maybe send somebody out tomorrow to check on the system. Sam! Oh, down here. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Sorry, baby. Everything okay? Yeah. The alarm malfunction. Okay. Oh. You tired, baby? Why don't you take her back to bed? I've got to wait for the police. Are you okay talking to them? Yeah, I'll be fine. Your gun? Courtney, it'll be okay. She bunking with us tonight? Look, 
Couldn't leave in a room after that. Alarm freaked her out. Not a good idea. Poor girl. You gonna be late tonight? Sam. What? Are you gonna be late tonight? I'm not sure, I shouldn't be, but my boss isn't my biggest fan. I know, babe. But it's a job, we need the money. It's just the difference between me making a big meal and getting takeout for all of us. I got no issues with takeout. Better not be a take at my cooking. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you want to cook something, I'll eat it. If you want to order takeout, I'll eat that too. How about you play with your daughter before work instead of staring at your phone? Harper, not in the kitchen. I play with her plenty. She could benefit from some alone time. I'm just saying you could play with her a little more half the time she's in bed before you even get home. Don't do that. Do what? Make me feel guilty about working. Look, if you have something to feel guilty about, it's not me. I just told you what I have to deal with at this job. Lower your voice. Start showing me respect. Excuse me? Not when you talk to me like that. You can calm down. Tell me when to calm down! Do you feel better? Yes. Good. Because if you ever direct that at me again, you know what will happen. today? You want to watch Elmo? Elmo, please. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. Oh, down you go. Cut it. Okay. All right. Stay in here, baby bear. I'm going to do some chores. Harper? Uh-oh. What uh-oh? No. What did you do? Go away. I'm staring at you.
stay there. Hi. Gatekeeper security? Yeah, thanks for coming out. Oh, no problem, ma'am. Well, come on in. So we right this way. Well, you told me you were having some issues with your system? Uh, yeah, it just went off in the middle of the night. I ran several diagnostic checks. Everything seems to be fine. I don't think there's much more we can do except replace the, the whole system. Really? And does that happen a lot? Uh, most likely what happened, there was a, a power outage or a, a breaker that tripped. And that'll reset the, the alarm. And that'll cause it to go off. Well, that doesn't make sense. Wouldn't we have noticed that? The clocks would be wrong. No, your system's on a, a separate power supply from the house. Jeez, Harper. It's weird. Harper, come on. Come on. Parsons, that the scrap from the XP Falcon restoration? Yes, sir. Good. I don't want this stuff piling up in the shop like you did last week. You hear me? It won't. When you're done, you got a phone call. Hello? Courtney? Oh, okay, calm down. I'll be right there. Where do you think you're going? My wife and daughter need me. No, no, you got a lot of work to do out there.
not crazy. Just want to clear that up right off the bat. Babe, of course you're crazy. That's why I love you. Harper, cover your ears. Mommy's about to yell at Daddy. Are you fuck? In this closet. What other closet is in that room, Sam? I am just trying to help. Helping would be taking Harper and I to a hotel. No one's going to a hotel. Look, I, I know you think you saw something, but I think you just overreacted to one of Harper's toys or something. If Harper has a toy that looks like a pale-faced fucking demon, then tell me, please. That one looks kind of demon-y. That doll is on the complete opposite side of the room from the closet. So either we have dolls that come alive and run around the room, or we've got a ghost. <laughs> okay. Which is it, Sam? Because I'm honestly having a hard time telling which is worse. Who said anything about a ghost? I did. I just said something about a ghost. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm being serious. I know you are. I'm just saying we should look at all the possibilities before we consider ghosts as being the answer, okay? We're leaving, Harper. Are you serious? What is with you today? Yes, I'm serious. You're gonna leave our home because you might have seen a ghost. Why are you saying it like that? Like what? Like it's the most illogical thing you've ever heard. Because it's not logical, Courtney. We've been through way worse than this. If we can handle all that, we can handle a little haunting. Those were things we could see, Sam, things we could fight. I need you with me on this. Courtney, if you see one more thing, I swear no arguing will leave immediately. Right? I'll even pack a few bags right now. That way there's no hesitation. Out the door in 10 seconds. If I see one ghost. Yes, ghosts, shadows. Moving dolls, static TVs, self frying eggs. Welcome to The Ghost Killers. I'm Corbin Carlisle, and today we're in Astoria, Oregon, at the infamous Marion Karras Insane Asylum, or as I like to call it, the Oregon of Hell. Ghost Killers. <laughs> I wonder why you've seen shit in the closet. <laughs> this is my first time watching this, and I'm doing it because of what I saw in the closet. Apparently these guys are pretty legit. That guy's been doing it for over 15 years. How are our EPK readings? Holy hell. Talk to me. I can't even right now. Then don't. Read your book. No, you don't believe me. That's not gonna stop me from calling these guys. Who left the fridge open? I'm going to bed. You do that. Good night, my beautiful. Explode. This is Corbin Carlisle saying see you next time on Ghost, Ghost Killers. Killers.
Courtney. You saw it. Are you planning on drinking? No. I poured it for you. What did you see? I know what this looks like. I'm not going to be that person. You're not crazy. I know that. What person then? I'm not going to be the person that everyone else thinks is crazy. When really I'm the only one who knows what's actually happening here. What's actually happening? Sam. Our home is haunted. <laughs> We've lived in this house for three years. How is it just now being haunted? Why does it matter? Whether it was here when we moved in, whether it just showed up yesterday, it's here. Why does it matter? Tell me, what do you want me to do? Either you take us, or Harper and I are going on our own. I don't, I don't think you understand. What'd your mother say? She's flying in as soon as she can. Good. What are we gonna do? It hurt my little girl. What do you expect me to do? I don't know. For once, I have no idea. Well, there's only one thing I can think to do right now. Where are you going? I want to know what exactly is in our house.
You in here? I think we're gonna set up in the driveway. We're gonna get my coverage first. Are we uh, dealing with residuals here? Or should I suit up for some intelligence spirits? Let's go with the neutralizing apparition bundle. And we'll carry along some limestones just in case we get any residual interference. Hey, uh, Tips, we have any of those uh, limestone sparklers left? Got a whole box left. Are my boobs too distracting for the camera? I don't think so. <laughs> Can we get a hero shot of the whole team from the ground up? You're right, I am camera ready. Okay. Say your name. Sam Parsons. But do it just right into the camera. Sam Parsons. And how long have you lived in the residence? Three years. What about the paranormal activity? When did it begin? About three days ago. Uh, do you mind? Um, not at all. Hello. Hi. My name is Timothy, but you can call me Tips like everyone else. What's your name? Her name is Harper. That's a pretty name. So, Harper, have you seen anything strange in the house? He's asking you a question. Anything scary? Scary. Nothing scary? Spooked 
spooky. Oh, really? What kind of spooky things have you seen? My daddy. Mr. Parsons, why don't you tell us about the first encounter that your family had with the entity? Well, do you want to know the, the first strange thing to occur or the first thing that my wife is sure she saw? Just whatever you think is the first significant instance of the paranormal presence. I guess the first sign that uh, we saw was our alarm going off in the middle of the night. Classic EBP. What's that? The beings in the afterlife are filled with electromagnetic energy. Whenever they get excited or angered, they send out energy burst. It messes with electronics. TVs turn on, lights flicker, alarms go How off. How are you guys even sure that this is a ghost? I been doing some reading and I'm not an expert. You're not the expert. We are. So do us a favor, Slick. Don't do any more reading. And let us do our jobs. We done here. I want to do a walkthrough. Yeah, we could finish the interview later if you want. Welcome back. Now that my whole team is set up, Sam has said that the focal point of the hauntings has been the downstairs so closet, the bedroom closet, tonight. and underneath. Yeah, but... They're leaving. Yes, I need to feed my daughter and put her to bed. That's disappointing. Um, I think what Corbin is saying is that we expected to have the whole family in the house tonight. Look, I know you guys are worried about your ratings, but my. Look, we're sorry for the miscommunication, but I'm sure you'll do fine without us. Nice to meet you. Sam, it could be very crucial to the investigation that Courtney and Harper stay in the house. Hey, pal. The entity can go into hiding if they're not here. It doesn't want them. I wasn't going to say anything while they were around. It's not after them. It's after me. May I see that? That's enough. Well, we're gonna head upstairs and do our preliminary sweep and collect the necessary data that we need. Then we're coming back downstairs and focusing on the hallway closet. We are Ghost, Ghost Killers. Killers! What a joke. Wait a minute. What the hell are these uh, baton things, anyway? It's an EMP baton, or a pulser. It emits a strong electromagnetic pulse to anything within a few inches of its tip. Those things kill ghosts. Research shows that spirits emit a strong electromagnetic energy. So it's like fighting fire with fire. How many spirits have you guys actually Tips. killed? Here we go. All set. Sound? Yeah, we're good. Camera? Camera rolling. Pulsers. Let's do this. Brianna, left side. All right. The pulser, you idiot. Ready? Good. Let's go. Where'd you get a Valknut? 
What? Your tattoo. Oh. What'd you call it? A Valknut. It's a Nordic symbol. Valknut. <laughs> no one ever bothered to tell me the name. Well, where'd you get it? Prison. On three. One. Two. Three! Ah. Are you kidding me? I've seen you bench press 315. Man up. Do some EMF readings over there, please. Your average ghost likes to take your personal items and hide them around the house. They're kind of the more friendly type. We're gonna try to see if we're dealing with our friendly ghost, a poltergeist, or even some residual spirit. We're gonna try to see if we can get a vapor trail and see what exactly we're dealing with. What the hell is that? What is that? Hey. Who opened the closet? Brianna, Brianna. Ah! Holy shit. Oh, shit. Brianna! Teddy! <laughs> uh, Brianna uh, <laughs> comes out of the closet. <laughs> oh, all over. Oh my God. Oh, so this is what it's, I always wonder what it was like to be inside of her. <laughs> You look pretty. Oh, I feel pretty. You know what? I feel, it's good to know I'm prettiest on set now. You are. Oh, my God. You know what? Funny yeah. enough, it doesn't smell as good as I thought she would, you know? Nat au naturel. It smells like oh. bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Am I your phone working or what? EMF readings are off the charts. I'm doing everything I can to keep this equipment running smooth with all this interference. What are you saying? You saying this thing's blocking our cell phones? I'm saying whatever it is, it's turned your home into an electronic black hole. I can't get signal to my computers in the van. Not even radio waves are getting out. This is what we've been waiting for. I know. But how are we supposed to make money off of this? Are you joking? The footage is gonna sell itself. 
And there is still so much more to get, Corbin. And then we could look at changing the name, rebranding. I mean, yeah, we're gonna hit a few legal hangups with Brianna being dead and all. But, come on. Okay, legally, where do we stand on that? We should call the cop. No. We can't. They'll shut us down, you know that. People are gonna find out. But, I mean, who's to say she's really dead? I mean, for all we know, she's just lost somewhere in the house, just waiting for us to find her. We call the police when we know for sure. Now, if we could just get everyone else on board. Leave that to me. This is extraordinary. This trace is a bone and muscle, but the consistency of a non-Newtonian fluid. How long was she in the closet? Looks like jelly. Must have been 20 seconds tops. This whole thing has gotten a little out of hand. We need to call the police. Nobody's calling the police, Sam. And this whole thing is totally under control. A girl was just killed. We don't know that. Are any one of you doctors? Besides, everyone on my team knew the risk of the job when they signed up. We did? Hey, wait a minute. I want to go on the record and say that I never signed anything. All right? I just need a shower, and we need to get our stuff and get to no, a hotel. No, we're not going anywhere. No cops, no leaving, no whining. We're in it for the long haul, boys. And girls. Hey, don't you bark orders at me. Well, with a negative attitude like that, no wonder this thing chose your house. Hey, what the hell does that hey, mean? Hey, why are you filming this? We have some actual drama really happening right now. Yeah, I need a shower. Use the one upstairs. No, I want to go to a hotel. Nobody is going anywhere. And if any one of you leave, you're not getting paid. It's the one upstairs or the front door. Hey, ghost nerd, you didn't answer my question. What the hell did you mean by it chose my house? Ghosts don't choose homes, Corbin. It's not a ghost. Ghosts don't turn beautiful women into strawberry jam. It wasn't a ghost, it wasn't a poltergeist, it wasn't a residual spirit, and it wasn't Jack the Ripper. It's a demon. A demon? What the fuck is the difference? It's a big fucking difference, pal. Possession, mind control, physical harm. So what, you guys don't do demons? Oh, we do demons, Slick. When do we do demons? As of right now. Hold on. Maybe we should talk about this first, Corbin. This isn't a simple search and destroy mission, Sam. All the more reason we should go after this thing. This thing just killed Brianna. I do not want to be next. We've already talked about this. It's the perfect season finale. Our first demon kill will crush the competitions in the ratings. Next season, we change the name. You guys ready for this? Demon killers. Is this the best idea? You're afraid? Oh, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Corbin, it's not like we don't want to help. But these sort of situations are far beyond our expertise. What does that even mean? Wait, is this like etched in stone? Can we please just survive the night, get our shit, and go to a hotel? Dude, stop being a puss! Just go take a fucking shower, Jesus Christ! Don't leave. If you guys leave, the show is over. We've already lost the sound, man, and that's fine. But I'm gonna need you guys on this. Tips, who's gonna provide the much needed exposition that our audience needs to stay with our convoluted plots? And Lance, fuck man, you're my best friend. I'm going against every good instinct I have, but the opportunity to study a demon is just too good to pass up. You know my answer, Corb, ride or die. 
bad boys for life. I, this is my house. It's the demon's house now, pal. So what's it gonna be? It's not here to infest your home. It's here to go after your family. Yeah, it could be listening to us right now. That's why we need a decision now. Look, Sam, this sort of thing is difficult to handle. Sam, you can't run from something like this. That's why you have to let us do our job so we can help you and your family. It's not like you're gonna do anything anyway. You're never gonna call the cops. Convict. Excuse me? You think we didn't do our research? Yeah. Criminal record like yours? Last thing in the world you need is a police investigation of a murder at your son of a bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! Easy, bullshit! Bro. Easy! Bullshit! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Just let us get what we need to get, and everybody comes out on top. Get off me. Get off me! Take them. He's strong for a little guy. How'd it go? I won't let anything happen to you two. I've made too many bad decisions in my life to not recognize that the best decision is making sure you two are safe. What are you talking about? We are safe. Not if I'm here. Sam, wait. Court, it wants me. Whatever it is, it's come from me. I brought this on us. All the shit I'm guilty of, all the shit I've done, it's invited it into our home. It's my punishment. Cut the crap, Sam. I've suffered enough. Harper has suffered enough. Your past is your past and you've got to let that go. You are not that man anymore. I can't beat this. Because you are too busy beating yourself. Maybe I see the man that you can be. As soon as you see him too, you can beat anything. We can beat anything. We're not going anywhere. Me. I 
think I'm good. Thanks. But why? Because you're fucking dead. But I'm not, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, which makes this really weird. Because I can never get a girl like you if you weren't. You hurt my feelings, Ray. Yeah, I'm super duper sorry about that. But if I could just squeeze past you for a second, that'd be... No! Sam. Sam. Answer your damn phone or turn it off. What? Who called you? Someone called me? Yeah, what? You forgot? Well, hours are out. Saw that. Hey, when are you gonna tell me about the ghost killers? It's not much to tell. Look, I know there are a bunch of ridiculous reality TV stars, but appreciate you trying. Courtney, I have to go. Where? Something's come up with those ghosts. Guys. Stop. What's happening? Look, I can't explain everything right now. But you and Harper, you need to stay away from me. No matter what happens, no matter what you do, you stay away from that house. Sam, we talked about this last night. I have to go. Sam. Let me in.
Hello? Corbin? Corbin? Tips? Guys, how's it going? How long have you been up here? Pretty much the last eight hours. Is there a way out from in here? No. The only way out is back to the house. What happened after I left? Basically the last act of every horror film you've ever seen. It attacked Ray first while I was in the shower. We tried to get to him, but it was too late. Then after that, it came after all of us. Bodies. One by one. Corbin! Leave her alone. possessed Linda and called me. Ray and Corbin are dead just so can bring me back here. I'm not really sure it's after you. Demons are usually trying to find their way into our world. Possessing a human body is the most common, but it doesn't seem like it wants to possess just any one of us. It seems perfectly content with killing us. Relax, Linda. We are trapped, Sam. How the hell are we supposed to get to the front door with that thing down there? You don't have to make it to the front door. Any one of the windows upstairs will do. We have the upper hand, too. 
Most of the video cameras are still working. Wait a minute. All the feeds downstairs were static. Patch all of those into here. That's how I got up here safely in the first place. The attic is the only safe place in the whole house. Only place with no closets or cabinets. What do you mean? It's how it works. It's how it moves around. For whatever reason, he's using the closets in your house as some sort of portal. Good. Good. So then we can just use the cameras and wait for the perfect moment. Just make a break for it. Sounds like a plan. Every time it enters a room, it messes with the feed and the screen goes to static. Well, how does that help us? It lets us know what room he's in and with the right timing and good distraction, one of us can make a break for one of the windows. And when we're outside? Call the cavalry. Where is he? Okay, baby. We're fine. Damn it, Sam. It's your damn Three interlocking triangles. They represent the three forms of life in Norse mythology. It means that it's a symbol of hate. I got this tattoo at the lowest point in my life. And it's only a reminder of the horrible man I used to be. What does it mean? It means nothing. You said you got that tattoo in prison. What were you in for? I've been in and out of jail my whole life. Before all this, before my family. I wasn't the best of guys. I got drunk one night at a bar and I beat a man into a coma. They gave me 10 years. I only served three. All that time, Courtney waited for me. 
And I promised her I'd never be that man again. I haven't had a drink since. I got this tattoo so I could survive in prison. All it is is a reminder of what I've been through. That's the only reason why I haven't cut it off. This is taking too long. Give me that. I need to be sure of its speed before any of us go down there. Why not two of us go down there? You mentioned it earlier. A distraction. I'll be the distraction. Whatever you do, keep him downstairs long enough for Leonard to get out the window. Call my wife as soon as you're out. Whatever you do, don't go into the girl's room. Greens are off the charts in that place. Lance is still alive in there. We'll go back for him. Once the three of us are safe. the chance, Linda. Go! Sam, what's happening? Linda, get out the window now. That bastard's coming. Motherfucker!
Please, do not hit me again! Get up. What happened? It stopped. It's not trying to get in. Where is everybody? Stay here. Sam, don't go back in there! Kid's room, it just shut on its own. Well, go open it. I'm not going out there. You go. I'm not leaving the closet. What if it tries to come back in here? <sighs> Sam? You okay, buddy? Sam? I'm fine. He says he's fine. What about the demon? Sam? What about the demon? He's gone. Everything's okay now. He says everything's okay now. I don't get it. What are you guys doing? Oh, you know. You know. Hi, Sam. Do you know why we still can't get out this door? Beats me. Okay, he's totally possessed. We have got to get the fuck out of this place or we are going to die! What about Sam? He's the one who got himself taken over by a demon. It's fucked. Listen. We're gonna save him right after we find a way out of here, okay?
okay? Come on. Something bigger. I have something that might work. Oh, Christ. Sam, don't. Don't. I can't stop him. It's using you. It is me. It doesn't want you. Think about it, why would it? Most demonic possessions are of children. <clears throat> They're easily manipulated and youthful. It's using you to bring back your wife and kid. It wants Harper. that symbol really means what it's for it's for protecting yourself against evil spirits I might not have meant that to you before but that's what it needs to mean to you now sometimes what you think is your curse it's just a gift you haven't learned to use yet
I told you not to come. Well, I'm here. It was Harper. Good thing I didn't bring you then. My mother flew in this afternoon. Upstairs now. What do we do? Well, don't worry. You can't get us while we're up here. We're safe. What? It needs a closet to travel from room to room. I don't get it. We just stay up here. Until when? No. You're staying up here. I have to break a promise that I made to you. I said I was never gonna be that man I was before. But I'm realizing that I can't run away from that now. Not anymore. I need to control it. Hey. Don't worry. Whatever that thing is, it came from the deepest, darkest corner of hell. And if there's a hell, there's a heaven. And life's biggest question has been answered. And there's no need to fear death. Sam, wait. Where are you going? I'm going to have me a drink. And then go pick a fight.
kept the biggest for yourself. Fuck out of here now. Good idea. <laughs> I don't know why you had a barge in. I had him. Shut up. 